Hi everyone, welcome back to the next video in this channel. So recently I was having a requirement where I have to use my Gmail account to send the email. So I was not having an option to get and use the Outlook account. So I was just going through that how can we use a Gmail to send that email. So in this video what I have done is I have uh, explored the docs.uipart.com we just tried to follow each and every step from docs.uipart.com we generated the password and at the end I was successfully able to send and test email from my UiPath studio with the help of Gmail the same is explained in this video in a step-by-step -step manner so in case if you also want to know that how we can use Gmail to send email from UiPath studio go ahead and watch this video I am in docs.uipart.com and I have a document in front of me which says enabling Gmail for the email activities. Okay, let us go through and read this document. The first step it says that to configure your Gmail account you have to use the uh, below steps. So first one is you, ha you have to enable the POP3 and the IMAP from the Gmail. So how do we do that? And the second one is optional. So let us go by this guy. So we have to open our Gmail. We have to go to the settings and all the settings. So I have opened my Gmail account. I am in the same settings. I went to the settings and I am in the see all settings of forwarding IMAP and the POP3. Let us go back and validate. So it says us to enable the POP for all email and we have to enable the IMAP. Okay. So I will just enable this guy and the enable IMAP is already enabled okay so I will just enable this guy also and let me click here and save the changes okay so now that is done right so so as of now I have enabled a two-factor authentication in my email account so I have to use this option so let me go ahead and click on this guy now from here I have to select the app from the drop down okay let me just uh, first log in here okay so now once I am in it I have to select the app from the drop down and other custom name let me go here what is the app I want to use the mail right and what is the device as of now so the device is let me just make it as to the Windows computer I will click on generate now once you click on the generate button a 16 digit password will be available which will be displayed in front of you in the yellow text now how should you use it now wherever whenever we are using our gmail account in UiPath studio I don't have to give my actual password I can use this password which is getting displayed on the screen and the UiPath activity or the UiPath studio will now be able to send an email on my behalf so what you can do is once this step is done save everything just copy this app password from here and save it to somewhere else now let us go to UiPath studio okay so I am in my UiPath studio and I have a project open in front of me to use any of the email activities in UiPath studio first of all the first step is you should have the email dependencies available so as of now if you'll see I do not have the mail dependency how can I add it you go to the dependency right click click on the manage and in the all packages just search for mail and you will get one which is from the UiPath let it load okay so you will get uipath.mail.activities this is by UiPath you can just select the version which you want to use so let me just click on 1.9. install and let me go ahead and click on save okay so now what will happen is this will add all the UiPath mail related activities to my studio and now if I go to the activities I will have the mail activities which I can drag and drop in my studio let us just wait for the package to get load now if I go here and I type mail you will see all the mail related activities are available here for example if I want to send an email now from the outlook so what I will do I can use an activity called send SMTP mail message I will drag and drop it here now what is the address where I want to send the email address let me just put my email ID here okay what is the subject to put test and the body is let's say hello okay let me go to the properties and let us now try to configure what are the settings which are related for SMTP so if you will see UiPath is giving me an error which says that value are required for the activities such as server is not supplied okay so where do I get the server and the port from so if you will come back to our documentation you will see UiPath has given a set of steps that for more details on the Gmail configuration click this link 
okay it has opened the link for this is the setting for the imap and these are all the required settings right so let me just go here and click for the server outgoing mail server so the server is this guy smtp.gmail.com let me just go here and paste the server here okay now what is the port the port for is 465 I will come here and in the port I will specify 465 okay now what are the other details it requires so it requires the login email ID and the password and the receiver is this guy the sender we don't have specified the sender right so I can specify the sender as let's say my email address only okay and the name like this the next setting now I have to provide is the user ID and the password right so if you will see there is something called the logon right so what would be the email ID so the email ID would be which email ID you want to send the email and what is the logon email ID right so let me just go ahead and pass my email ID here now it will ask for the password right so now you don't have to specify the actual Gmail password instead what you will do is once you have uh, clicked on the generate you would have got this code right so what we will do is you will pass this code whatever the code which is generated for you we will just copy and paste this code which we have already done in the previous step you have to just pass this code as it is to this application here okay so just pass the code here so let's say assuming your code is ABCD EFGH IJKL I'm just putting a random number once this is done and save everything okay so now I have corrected the code which was generated for me I replaced the ABCDEFGH with my actual code which I have received now let us go here and run the file okay so let us just wait for the bot to complete its execution so the bot has started okay if I go to the output you say it has started and the execution was ended in four seconds let me go back to my Gmail now I am in my Gmail and you see I have just received an email which is zero minutes ago so this is the email address this is the name which we have given this is the subject and this is the body so that is how with the help of the send SMTP mail message and all the settings which we have done you will be successfully able to send an email from the Gmail I hope this was helpful thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation Thank you.